Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and we are back with more buoyancy. So the last city died significantly. So we're going to be building back up with more fishers, more madness, and more awesome. So we're going to get two fishers straight off the bat. And expand our world. So that would be that done. So yeah, we're going to be starting to expand and the grow. And build our city to be the best floating crap city of all the world. Or, you know. So first thing we need is resources. Like, we don't want trash piles, we want wood piles. Trash, trash, trash. School of destroyed ship is fish and scrap. Wood. Okay, there's wood behind us. But yeah, we need resources. We need to keep on growing our citadel of awesome. Also, I love the music and I hope the music goes quite well. Like, it does actually sound to me when it stops being music-y. Do, 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 do. I've got scavengers, so we now have access to wood. We have access to fish. Is that floating away slowly but surely? Uh, yeah, it's actually floating away. It's moving closer to my mouse. Cool. Resources are floating in one direction, so we're actually going backwards. Where's that wood pile? Driftwood. There it is. As you can see, we're going to be building a bit slower this time round, and the citadel of Lotharis will expand enough to take out enemy cities. We also need more wood and stuff, so we should be okay. One more fish, five more wood. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay. You have a scavenger on the other side too, I think. And I think we should be fine. Maybe. School of fish, that'll be useful. Driftwood, okay, we need the driftwood to build up our starting supplies. So people are apparently born. I did notice that in the last one, but people do get born in this city. That's oh, awesome. How much wood have we got? We got enough for another one yet? No, not yet. Okay, we're gonna get this down and we get another driftwood um another scavenger down on this side. Oops. That way we can get even more driftwood at any one time, so that's pretty good. So we need to make sure we have plenty of food. Of all the things to expand, food is the one we have to expand the most. Someone got born at 11. Who would be born here? But yeah, we're going to go a bit better and more powerful. And we'll see how it goes. Uh... Wood's over there being done. Okay, how are we doing on wood? So maybe another scavenger so we can have constant amounts of wood, but I think fishing is more important, honestly. Maybe there. Yeah, so fishing is more important, but we do need some more people. So once we get like six fishery down, then we'll start hunting other people. Two or four rowers now. Ooh. There we go. So that's done. Another one down. Just there. That's not actually connected, is it? I can walk across at least. 
So one thing we do need to kind of sort out is the whole connecting thing. You can't always tell if it is or is not going to connect. But I do like the whole floating city idea. Ah, uh, there we go though. Got four fishing, two scavengers. That should be okay for a start. I'm going to move over there to grab some fish, I think. But we do also need to get a forager down. Actually fit it there. I wait mean, it stops moving, I'll build it. Fish has been built, there we go. Four fishing sites. I think we need to go grab some more people to start powering it. I think we're doing okay. Slowly building up. The scavenger there. That'll give us fish pretty fast. There we go. We need to get some more storage down, I think. But yeah, I think we're doing okay now. We have plenty of fish now in storage. Then that can give us uh, medical supplies. Yeah, that's okay. Dale in Cousins Trading Co. Oh, more driftwood. We'll take that. Like eight fishing maybe at the bottom would be good. We'll see, we'll see. Definitely need more people. Where's the newest group of people? Survivors over there. Trading post unnamed over there. Junk over there. Okay, we'll go for the survivors, grab them. I built another scavenger, didn't I? I'm an idiot. I meant to build a forager. Yeah. Do that. Okay, then move over to the survivors. Plenty of fish. Plenty of fish in the sea, eh? Yeah, grab more people. That'll give us access to a little bit better stuff. Like, we have a lot of resources we need. We mostly need wood right now, but that's fine. Wood and fish are our primaries until we expand to the next tier. On the bright side, we can store resources. Yeah, that's five, ten. Yeah, okay, we've got plenty of actual wood. We can get some more fishes up and running. We'll move that to eight. So we move to there, grab the survivors and hit the driftwood pile. Yes, I know we've got a bit of a backlog. We need the people. We need the people. We actually have 13 people here now. Slowly growing quite significantly. I just do wish there were houses. Okay, grab the survivors, then maybe we'll trade. I do like this place, I really do. I do think there could be a few more sprites for the people wandering around, but that's a future thing. They're all very much the same person right now. Even just to, like a different colour of shirt would be nice. Welcome aboard. Okay, food and resources now on the move. Deep diver. 
There we go. Look at that. Resources all over the place. So of course we can start getting the other one up to actually start getting metal. We we'll get a bit of metal here and there, but we do need to grab like resources. We also need a recycler. As you can see, we've got enough people now that that was done pretty quickly. Let's get a couple more fishermen sites down. There we go. We're going to grab those survivors over there to give us enough food. A villager was born, yes! They are connected, they are slowly drifting apart. I'm going to have to build something else at the end here. But there you go, plenty of resources, plenty of production. I'm going to move uh, forward to grab that metal and that wood. Perfect. The city expands. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You've had a long, hard life of living on the ocean. There we go, two more fishers. Go that way, grab that, then we'll grab the people. Okay, obviously we've got a lot of people currently rowing, but we do have plenty of food now. We can actually support our people with food. Mm. Kind of. You're going to have to stop at a fishing section soon though. And maybe we'll go back and grab the trash piles and the school of fish. Doing okay, we're doing okay. Like, I wouldn't want to live here personally, but these people do, so it must be doing something right. I Means even alcohol, no bread, no meat, can't find any whales just yet. Grab the people. Then we go back for a school of fish and destroyed ship. A village been born, ten more raft, ten more wood, ten more raft wood. As you can see, uh, we actually have rowers and we have people doing stuff now. So I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Space is a stop movement, I remember that. Okay, grab that, grab the junk. Because right now we want to stay in like, the local area to grab resources. Okay, they're nearly all complete. We'll grab the school of fish, destroyed ships, grab more food. It's probably we're out of food. There's like 80 food. We've got plenty of food stored, so we'll grab that in a second. But yeah, okay. I see how it is. Let them pick up all the stuff soon, I think. So to make the greenhouse, we need plastic and dirt. We have no dirt and some plastic. So we're going to need to get a recycler now. And a deep diver.
This should be okay. You should be able to grab all this stuff pretty easily. Then we can start getting our people who are currently, you know, rowing to actually do stuff. Hey, stop to make collision. We collided. There we go. Food is now being brought back as a centre. There we go, look at that. The resource is now being pulled in significantly. There we go, plenty of fish again. I think we're doing better than the last time. Unless you know we get attacked by pirates. But, but until then, we're doing better. Oh, the food went down to naught. Okay, so you're going to need a bit more fish. Okay. Yeah, we have plenty of people to wander around. We don't need to expand too fast right now. Plenty of resources. Okay, as long as we're not moving, we do have plenty of fish being grabbed. That's good. Five food for that person. Oof. As you can see, we should start building these two as well now. We have plenty of food and wood. There we go, another one done. Even though he had an invisible crate. Okay, another fisherman down. I think we're doing better. I think we are doing better. Okay, this is going to be destroyed soon. There we go. That's what we got nearby. Survivors don't need any more just yet. Got plenty of resources. So we do need to get ourselves a smelter. But here's a fire starter. So we're going to build you there. Fish should be still good. Okay, there we go. Food seems to be roughly steady. I think we have enough fish places now potentially to keep us running. I'm not too certain on that, but I am vaguely certain on that. You have plenty of wood. I'm thinking of going to the trade station, honestly. Okay, that will now make us metal. That gives us more advanced buildings. We don't have any copper just yet. 21 suddenly, yes. We're at north now at 21. That's fine, we need to move right now. 
Okay, so that's good. Yeah, food is roughly stable. So I am learning about how much fish requires per person, how often they need to eat. If I get a galley down, they will eat less often. That is a bit out of my limit just for now. And we can sell some of excess resources to them for something good. Maybe more food, who knows? Maybe metal. I've got loads amount of metal and wood now. So we're gonna stay here for a little bit. Oh, 25 people already. So we need crude oil, grains, that might be useful. Meat. Bread would be very useful. Blubber. How much is bread? 18 per bread. How much is wood then? They actually do want wood more than anything, so we can actually sell them a lot of wood. Okay, wood's perfect. They do that, confirm. There we go. Now we can, can eat them. There's an option to eat them. Did not know that. So we're doing well. We have food and resources. Looks like meat is better, but there isn't too much in the way of meat nearby. Okay. We now have access to metals, though. Doing okay. We have plenty of food. We are going to need storage soon. The storehouse is a lot of metal. So I can actually turn them into like something useful. And more alcohol, why not? Just grabbing stupid stuff. We've got plenty of spare wood. Okay, to make a harpoon who requires just wood, okay. So I need a butcher after that, that's fine. Where's the butcher? Where is the butcher? There it is. So there's what, two people on there? Yeah, two people just living there. Water world! They've got plenty of food moving around now. doing okay honestly. That's our metal looking. 20 metal, perfect. Three more village, three villages been born. Oof. Okay. So a galley would be useful right now. So I'm probably going to build one here. But that requires all the wood we just sold. Yeah, we need a lot more wood now. Probably gonna need a lot more food too. We're getting there, we're getting there. So the galleys needed so people can actually eat less food. They're more satisfied with what they've got. 
That's producing metal, so I'll be needing to build some defences. I definitely need a guardhouse this time around. Is it actually moving? No, actually, no, that's moving, we'll find out. But yeah, we've got plenty of food, as you can see. Meat's going down slowly. Uh, okay. The price is not full up in plastic. I want fish. I could sell them fish. But I kind of need fish. So that's not doing anything until they're literally next to me. Okay. Okay, that requires more. Yeah, I know you need more wood too. We have an issue with wood. I sold it all for resources. Isn't there wood nearby? Yeah, there. That's what you're thinking. Like, there's definitely, there's definitely wood nearby this place. We do need to get defences up because I don't want pirates to wipe us out. Anyway, I have been, god damn it, a fallen shogun. And this has been even more buoyancy. This series might be a few episodes, might be many episodes. We'll have to see. But either way, hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Tell me what you think down below and I'll see you another time. Charles for nows. Wood. Bye-bye. There we go.